All right. Paint in my house, man. Dearest Bill, my house needs painting. It has about six years. It's been about six years since it's been painted. We moved in four years ago. I've painted a house before, but my wife thinks I'm going to fuck it up and or it will take too long. You know what? I'm with her already. Uh, I've been telling her that I'll say uh, it'll save thousands of dollars. She says that's not the point. She's right. It's not entirely the point. I make good money. I just want to paint the house. It's my first house, and I feel the need to do something to leave my mark on it, literally and figuratively speaking. Um, I'll t- it'll take me about three weeks to do the whole house, not working every day, but three, four days a week. I have a neighbor who's going to be home from college who I've introduced to music, and he's never heard Oh, listen to music he's never heard, so it's a great excuse to give the kid a few bucks while introducing him to early Soundgarden and Jane's Addiction. Uh, she started th- bringing things up like, well, what if it starts raining? She's got nothing left on this one. I have to paint my house. It's not a manly thing. It's not to prove a point. It's taking pride and ownership. Thoughts on this? I say you listen to your wife. Dude, you want to do something? Fucking you finish your garage. Do something like that, okay? Do something in there where it's a, par- a room that she doesn't have to fucking deal with. Just have some pros come over there. Have them knock it out. Have them charge you through the fucking nose. And you sit inside drinking a fucking beer, all right? There's other shit that you can do on the house. Um, you know, I, I just, painting a fucking house, is huge. that's a big one, dude. That is a big one. I understand that you want to do it, Um. But, yeah, I, I'm with your wife on this one, dude. You know, you already got a fucking job, okay? You're making good money. Pay somebody to do it, all right? There's a bunch of shit on my house that I started to do, and I just started thinking, you know what? I'm making a good living. Fuck this. Why don't I have a pro come over? I can do it. I can figure it out. I was patching up holes in walls. I was learning how to do that shit. You know, I was fucking fixing the J-trap under my sink and doing all of that fucking crap. I did, learned all of that shit in my last apartment. Then I got to the house, and it's like, all right, well, I can do this. Or I can have a pro come over here and do it and do it fucking right. Okay. Now I'm, I'm speaking for myself here. My house was fucking wall to wall, wall, floor to ceiling, inside and out. Do it yourself fucking hacks. All right. And I wasn't going to carry that fucking baton anymore. Everything that I have had done on my house has been done by fucking professionals. And my house is as much as I bitch about it. Um, it's 70% the shit at this point. It really is. Once I get this garage done and then I got, you know, my kitchen's fucked up. Don't even get me started with all the exterior doors and windows, okay? And the wood rot and some of the other shit I have to deal with. But generally speaking, like, this fucking place is solid. And um, I don't know, dude. Fuck that, dude. You don't go up a fucking ladder. You know what I mean? Mixing the goddamn paint, doing all of that bullshit. Um, I would just, I would, Yeah. Just just pay for it. Just pay for it and just say, this is what you do. Don't just do it. Just don't do what your wife says. Get something out of it, all right? Be like, all right, you know what? I thought about it. I don't agree with it, but I know that you would feel better if somebody else did it, okay? So I am going to hire a professional company to paint the house. And she'll be like, okay, good. I'll be like, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. However... Because I am doing that, I am going to redo the garage. And the garage is going to be a place where me and my friends, we play poker and we smoke cigars once a week. I'm going to have my own fridge in there. There's going to be a lock on the door that you do not have a key for. When you see um, exotic women walking in and out of that, you are not to ask questions. It's just understood, right? You just say crazy shit like that, right? Over the fucking top. And then she's done laughing. Then you say what the fuck you really want. It will pale in comparison to fucking exotic women walking in and out of your garage. And you'll be fucking in. So I would think about what else you want. All right? And at the end of the fucking day, you're going to get something that you want. And somebody else is going to pay you how, paint, uh, paint your house. I think you're going to win. Personally speaking, that's what I think. All right? And you know what? That's the podcast for this week, motherfucker.